Hello, I'm Dr. Manisha Singh. I'm a consultant gynecologist and a subspecialist in reproductive medicine and surgery at Creation Fortis Hospitals, Bangalore. Today, I'm going to talk about endometriosis. This is a condition that affects women in the childbearing age group across the world. It is estimated that approximately 25 million women in India alone suffer from this condition which is an estrogen dependent condition and may also be called the silent disease in some cases. The commonest manifestation of this condition may be chronic pain in abdomen, pain around the time of the periods which is exacerbated during periods. Women may also present with infertility and there may be other symptoms related to the bladder or the bowel occasionally mimicking the irritable bowel syndrome. It is possible that some women may have absolutely no symptoms whatsoever related to this disease and this condition may be incidentally picked up during a master health checkup or during screening for subfertility. It is estimated that roughly 1 in 10 women may have this condition and 25% of women presenting with subfertility may be diagnosed with endometriosis. Endometriosis may be ascertained uh, by either a clinical examination through a pelvic ultrasound scan, but the gold standard for diagnosis of endometriosis is laparoscopy. Other investigations such as an MRI scan, a CT urogram may also be required to make a complete diagnosis before proceeding to therapy or treatment. Should you have any of the symptoms mentioned earlier, it is imperative that you seek assistance from a gynecologist at the earliest. As this condition can also affect your professional life and you may lose as much as 10 to 12 hours of work on a weekly basis. The management for this disease varies between individuals and has to be tailor-made to every person depending on what their main symptom is. The management comprises of either simple analgesic or painkiller drugs. One may need hormone management. Some women may need surgery and in relation to infertility, you may need higher form of therapy such as intrauterine insemination or even IVF. The management once again differs between women who desire to conceive and those not desirous of fertility. So the final take home message for all ladies out there, whether you are 15 or 50, if you have period pains, periods that affect your work-life balance, if you have infertility and if you think you have endometriosis, please do not hesitate to seek assistance from a specialist at a center that offers multidisciplinary care for your condition.